Guitar Ninjas! So, I had to go at watching some TikToks in the last video, and we actually ended up filming so much, I decided to split it into two. So, you can check out this video, this is me reacting to guitarists on TikTok, having a feel for what I think is awesome, what I think is not, and just give my opinion. If you think there's any really cool TikTok I should check out, leave a comment below, and I will check those out in a future one. Thank you for watching, but as a continuation from the last video, we'll make the intro quick, and let's jump into it. So this is a guitar I assembled, and it has, as you can see, Music is win. a 100% aluminum neck. Do you wonder what that sounds like? Well, <laughs> it's very special. Now a lot of that beautiful tone is coming from the amount of delay he's got. He's got pedals or amps with delay and reverb, things like that going on there. So don't be fooled thinking that that is the natural tone of that guitar. I have played guitars with aluminium neck, but I've played one with steel and that hurt the hell out of my neck and shoulder. But I have played electric guitars and they are really quirky, they are different, they are fun to play. Um, there's a local guy that makes them and literally like welds stuff. It looks like it's proper metal, um, project, you know, like with all those welds obvious and things. They're kind of cool, but they are quirky. Um, they are designed for high gain, no matter what. This one intrigues me because it's got that kind of strat feel. It's it's very different. The, the metal ones that I played were very much made to look metal, as in heavy metal, not just metal as in the material. So, yeah, but don't be fooled. That, there is loads of delay and reverb in that zone doing that. That is not just the metal of the neck. It's as good as you thought. Isn't it? No. <laughs> right, next. Now, that for me is the other way round. What people think I mean when I play guitar, they think I mean I'm going to play that Arctic Monkeys riff. I like the guy's speed play. Um, that is a PRS Strat style neck, so that is going to be... Oh, that's a certain signature. I can't think of the guy. Anybody watching this that's into guitar is going to slate me right now for not recognising whose signature guitar that is. But yeah, his playing skill values him having a guitar of that value. Um, but yeah, for me, it's the other way around. Right, who's How next? How to impress a non-guitarist. How to impress a beginner guitarist. How to impress an intermediate guitarist. Yeah, Polyphia, nice. I must be intermediate. How to impress an advanced guitarist. <laughs> okay, um, I mean, the being able to talk to women part, uh, he, he did the wrong joke. The end should be being able to make money. <laughs> But yeah, I've got to say, his playing in there is pretty good. I must admit, I love those sweeps. Let's move on. I think that guy's really cool. I like his playing. Um, I just twist the joke a little bit myself. Right, next. String. Um, the difference, of course, is uh, you don't need a strap because uh, it just floats in front of you. The strings behave about the same, uh, but it can resonate really well because it's not deadened against your body. And it sounds about right here. We'll play something. Right, there's the mic. Leave it. I want to do this. Of course, House of the Rising Sun. I wish there was a way to experience this without having to be able to go into space. Like, trying to play guitar underwater, perhaps. But <laughs> it's just, it's not going to be the same, is it? But no, that's pretty cool. I mean, not really that different to what I would have expected because inside the space station or rocket or wherever they are, it's still gonna have air. And that air pressure means that the wave length of the string vibrating can be pushed through, so you'll hear it fine. The resonance, like it says, less air resistance or whatever things there to some level. Obviously, if it was in space space where it's like a vacuum, I guess sound wouldn't travel because it wouldn't be able to push. Anyway, I'm getting too nerdy. Let's, let's carry on guitar. Let's just move on. <laughs> Okay, already intrigued. Ooh. Please be good. 
I would play with this and be meh with it, make myself happy, but not necessarily perform standard. Please play it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, some Andy McKee style finger tapping. Yeah, I like it. Fresh creativity in the field. I've always loved that style. If you like the style of the guitar, ignore the addition in there and you've not heard of Andy McKee, go check him out now. Drifting is one of my favorites. Trilogy is pretty good for my father. A long list of songs there. But, mwah. Um, and if you like that kind of sound, but you don't know how to find it with guitar, as well, checking out Andy McKee and open tuning of Dad Gad is going to be the, the ground basis of getting that sort of tone. Okay, next. So my dad's got this guitar, and it's got this MIDI unit, which means you can sample any sound in the world. Any sound in the world. Everyone has to do the, everyone has to do the fart. It just has to be done. I mean, <laughs> for anyone that knows um, Ola England, the guy that does solo guitars, will be aware that recently he released a video of him playing with a fart pedal that just makes every note sound like a fart. It doesn't matter how old we get, how mature we get, you, you gotta love the fart pedals. And to be fair, it sounds better than the original, right? Right, next! Oh, the Gibson auto-tuners. These things... Oh god, that grinding sound is horrible. Now, these things are really cool, but I feel like it's a basic necessi necessity to be able to tune your own guitar. I think once you've reached the stage of like stage performance, where this can happen between songs to check your tuning, is wicked. But I think if a beginner gets a guitar with this in, you're cheating yourself. It's like if you buy a guitar and you stick all the notes as stickers underneath every single fret. How are you ever gonna learn? If you disagree with anything I say, let me know in the comments. If you think there's some videos I should really check out or TikTokers that I should watch, leave a comment below and I will make sure that I check out their channel. If this video does well, I'm sure I'll do more of them because I quite enjoyed it. Yes, as always, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, all of that craziness. As per usual, all Guitar Ninja, if you want to learn guitar stuff, all of the links are in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in a new one soon.